I'm sitting here with two friends of mine, acquaintances of a long time, Don Kramer and Jim Lemon. Both grew up in or near friendship. They've been here fixtures in this range ever since I've been here, which was 1978. And Don, you grew up close to here. When did you actually start shooting at Friendship? At the Friendship, uh, let me see, about 73, something like that. And I know when I came here in 1978, you were shooting all the disciplines. You were shooting offhand rifle. Yep. I saw you on the round ball bench line, and then you gradually, like we all did, migrated down to slug gun rifle. Right. You were great friends with Webb Terry. Yeah. We were kind of alike, you know, like the devil to each other, you know, we, we got along fine, you know. I remember, remember you antagonized each other pretty well. Oh, yes. They well, were, the, the only thing we was interested in is beating each other. I know. <laughs> but I know when I moved down here to the slug line, of course, I had Webb Terry came to me and built the slug rifle I shoot. And uh, boy, I sure miss him. And I know you do, too. Oh, you, were, yeah. you were great yeah. friends. He was a great rifle builder. You were instrumental, and so was Wilburn in helping myself, helping Don Warner. Two good memories I have here of you. I walked down the slug gun line one day, and I hadn't shot a gun here yet. I was thinking about it, didn't have any equipment, and you were shooting at 200 yards, and Marlon Bassett was standing on his tiptoes, looking down through a spotting scope, and I knew Marlon from being around Kenny Brzezine and having dinners together. And I, you know, everyone called him Bass. And I said, Bass, what are you looking at? He says, he says, Don Kramer is sitting down at 200 yards with nine X's in the target. He's got one shot to go. And he was nervous. He was probably more nervous than you were. And he looks down range, nine X's at 200 yards. He said, here, look. And I reached up and I looked in the scope. And about that time, the gun went off. Boom! And I turned around to Bass and I said, he's got 10 now. <laughs> <laughs> I was the first one that ever done it. First one, set a record at 200 yards, 100 with 10 X's. Right. What an incredible feat. And as an example of people helping each other here, I know, Jim, that you had several well-known people that, that helped oh, yeah. mentor you all yeah. through your shooting That's career true. here. When you came down to the slug gun line, you kind of took Jim, under his wing, made sure he wound up with the right equipment, taught him a lot about the correct way to handle a slug gun, and you've turned him into the fierce competitor he is today. So I guess I should thank you for that, but that's, that's a good thing. <laughs> that's, that's what makes it go, is competition. But Jim, I, I know, I mean, tell me a little bit about that. I know you guys did extensive work and testing together. Well, that's true. You know, when I started to move down from the round ball bench to, to shoot slug gun. Uh, I knew nothing about it. Right. And uh, I'd shot with Don for years, and so, you know, I went to him. And once I got the, the rifle, you know, of course it needed fine tuning, and I, I needed to know how to use it. And uh, like I said, Don was instrumental in getting me up to snuff in a short period of time where I could be competitive with the thing and not just have to flounder around for several years hoping that maybe I'd get better. He's more than competitive. Who is that? Him. I made him that way. I know you did. <laughs> That's kind of the spirit of this whole place. Yeah. People have helped each other for years. How long have you been shooting here? I've been shooting here since probably 1964. 1964? Yeah. There was a gentleman, Don Davis. Everyone uh, remember. What did you say that was? Everybody <laughs> remembers Don Davis. Yeah, I think awesome. I used the term gentleman. That's what I was questioning. <laughs> I shouldn't use that term. But uh, yeah. Don Davis, of course, he, he wrote for Gun Week. He was well known by many people. I remember him writing a lot in Muzzle Blast also about teaching and helping young Jim Lemon yeah. shoot cross sticks. That's another example of another person with a lot of knowledge right. taking a younger person under their wing and teaching them the sport. What other memories? You, you both have found to have a ton of memories of this place. Well, you know, like I said, since I was born and raised here, you know, I probably started coming down to the shoots when I was four or five years old. Yeah. And uh, by the time I was nine, I started setting traps down here. At that time, we only had the one trap and it wasn't automated. On the shotgun range. On the shotgun range, all right. 
And I'd, I'd start at nine in the morning. We'd break for an hour for lunch, come back and shoot till uh, six, take a break and come back and shoot till nine. And did that all week long. And uh, did that for several years. And finally started shooting shotgun down and shooting trap, which I did that for a good while until I through high school and then went away to college. And then when I came back, Don Davis got me started shooting the cross sticks, Buffalo cross sticks matches, and then kind of migrated from that into round ball bench for several years and, uh, and then on up to, to the slug gun. Well, I tell you, it, is, it has been my pleasure to know both of you. And I know that you've somewhat retired from shooting here, but I'm glad to see you still coming down. And this is a, just a great example of how how things work here and how that knowledge is handed down from one or the other, and we all appreciate it. Well, that's what it's all about. We need to, if there's potential there, help develop it if you can. Right. Well, we got it. We've got to get with the young people and to keep the thing alive. That's true. Well, thank you very much for sitting here and talking with us. You're welcome. Pleasure. My pleasure. Good.